During the year 213 BC, an emperor was ruling over China that hated history so much that he ordered all history books, old records, poems, and writings to be burnt. The only books that he permitted were those about agriculture and similar subjects that he viewed as useful. Anybody found in possession of any other types of books would be put to death immediately. This emperor's name was Shi Huangtai. He was the first emperor of all of China, as well as one of the greatest warriors to have ever been heard of. He was from a province called Qin, and so his family inherited the name. It is likely that all of China was named after him. Shi Huangtai was the reorganizer of China. He managed to conquer all the provinces and transform pieces of land into an entire country. He ended the rule of the various princes and created a strong state. However, he thought that in order for an entirely new China to be built, it was necessary to wipe out every trace of how things were before. He wanted to start from scratch, and so he built roads everywhere and started an enormous project, the Great Wall of China. This Great Wall would protect the townspeople from the looting and killing of the wild tribes of the steppes. And even till this very day, after having been impeached multiple times, the wall still stands. Anyhow, Shi Huang Tai's reign did not last long, as the Han Dynasty would soon rise to power. This family would most certainly not be an enemy of history. In fact, they carefully collected and preserved their ancient writings, valuing them twice as much as before. And it turned out that even during Shi Huang Tai's rule, a lot of people had the courage not to bring them after all. And later in Chinese history, Government officials would have to know all their ancient writings and teachings, and those with the highest marks on their exams would earn the highest posts. The rulers after Shi Huang Tai realized that if they wanted to do something new, they had to make sure they knew what the people before them tried. 